Good morning and welcome to Frank's school. This devil cat's here ready to help me. So I'll have to hold him. His name's Tux. I'll have to hold him, otherwise he'll get the camera. Anyway, uh, this is the sixth uh, year, 164th video uh, day. Uh, first video and uh, of two. I'm going to go outside uh, shortly, well, in a couple hours when it's light, and, and show you what I'm talking about. Wood. Extreme cribbing. I, I thought, you know, I don't know if I need to say extreme cribbing. I want to show you how I, I've used some wood uh, for cribbing, but it is certainly not usual cribbing. Cribbing is when you <clears throat> you put, uh, you know, you put two two pieces that way and then two pieces that way, and and you build it up to support something heavy, and it's usually done with you know really nice squared uh, timbers, and it's a you know it's a standard technique really. But anyway, uh, I call this extreme because I'm using charred, the charred timbers that I filmed earlier, the results of a barn fire, uh, my neighbor's barn tragically uh, burned, and uh, they're, they were hand hewn. I think they're chestnut. I'm almost certain these logs are American chestnut because they're not as heavy as oak would be, uh, and yeah, I'm 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 sure they are. The nail ends are still there because the boards burned off and started to chart a burn into the timbers before the fire was put out or went out. So it was really tricky to handle it because you got these ends of these nails everywhere. But I had uh, <clears throat> two buddies of mine were here, Adam and Matthew, uh, yesterday, and for a couple hours we, we set this cribbing. I had most of the wood already there. but. At, and at four of the pieces were really too big for me alone to be able to handle. I'm going to adjust that. That's bugging me. I'm going to adjust that just a little bit. Uh, uh, Adam is immensely strong, he, he, and and uh, you know the three of us were able. It was to get the timbers into place of the four. Um, it was. It's been raining a lot, and it was another. Uh, it's been raining a lot and it was really too slippy and, and muddy for my even my pickup truck to help very much so we had to do a bunch of hand work but in a couple hours we did it uh, and uh, what we did now the, the complex there which is Erica Falls is the location of it is, is what I call it and, and the various components like there's Stellan wheel and there's going to be Nadir wheel and there's Renate Falls, and there's Jurgen Mill, and, and Wayne Mill. There, there's various, and, and Fraser uh, or Wheels, and Fraser Mill. I mean, I've got names for all this stuff. But anyway, the position is chosen. The alignment is right now. It's very close, I mean, to the extent that the eye can make. And what I needed was some level spots. That's what the cribbing gave me. Uh, you know, that's kind of the order that, that I built in. And I needed around six. Uh, and this whole area right here, cat, I know what you'll do. You'll get the camera. Um, this whole area is like tumbled waste from iron mining, strip mining, I think. Although there might have been a, a opening to a shaft mine right there. I don't know. It was very awkward. And, and the water's an unnatural, I mean, a man made waterfall. Well, I'll try you, but you stay away from the camera. Uh, a man-made waterfall and going down through all these rocks and stuff, so it was muddy. Uh, it's been raining so much. Uh, but anyway, I needed these level spots to build with. And I got what my neighbor, other neighbor, Andy, calls a proof of uh, concept. You know, the water ran through. I had the the sections of the head race, the, the trough sections. I had them built a couple years ago, I think. They've been waiting. And I joined them together. And at the end of the two hours, we, we sent the water down through and it was running. Now this is, is going downhill and it's all, you know, all of this stuff I'm gonna reset. But I thought, well, there's enough there that it would be interesting to see. I, it's gonna have to, I have to wait now until I have time to go to the sawmill and, and basically have time to do it because the, the legs are gonna be newer wood. They'll be one by six uh, rough sawn. And there'll be braces and I'll bring this out level to drop it over a wheel that'll go like this. Uh, that's a uh, nadir wheel, Stellan wheels up here. Uh, and this, when the water stops, which it will in July if not before, at that point I'm going to have a windmill to drive the mechanism. I'll go over to wind and I'll have to be able to have some of this removable 
uh, to, to clear for the wind, uh, windmill to turn. Well, anyway, once I drop it there, uh, I'm going to go on with a head race to a, a second wheel down here. And there's going to be a mill building here. And I'm also going to shoot straight down so I get that whole height. And on the far side of that building, I'll have an impulse wheel. There's going to be a lot of power there because there's quite a bit of drop. And, and right now there's a lot of water because it's been a wet spring. There's even flood warnings uh, at the moment. So it was a really fun time to do this. But it was warm. So let's see. I'm going to go outside and, and show this. Uh, one other thing I can maybe tell you now is that this I cantilevered because the, 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 uh, it's the remains of an old possibly barn foundation uh, right here. I'm not sure. Uh, and I wasn't too trusting that I could g get a stable foundation out here. I think I, I do, uh, you know, on blocks. But I decided I better cantilever it. Uh, well, I, I can't draw uh, clearly. But that might help you visualize what uh, I'm talking about when I go outside. Now when I go outside, there, there's going to be the sound of the water. And I am infamous for moving my camera too much. But uh, uh, two of, part two of two, I'll be outside and I'll show you this quote-unquote extreme uh, uh, cribbing. It may disturb you to see how <laughs> tottery some of that stuff is. I was just using blocks and wood and anything that's around there to, to establish a level. Uh, and I will reset everything, especially when it's not quite so muddy. All right, that'll do for now.